Good morning, everyone. We are Chemistry Club of Fukushima Prefecture, Yaki Senior High School. Today, we are going to make a presentation on the total synthesis of carbamo. First of all, we will tell you about how we started studying it. At the 2009, our club has been working on chemical analysis. Inorganic analysis was very interesting, but we wanted to try something new making an organic compound. And we started to find an interesting theme to work on. One day in 2009, one of us happened to find an article about the total synthesis of carbon on the website of the pharmacy department of Nagasaki University. It said, it is a masterpiece of organic chemistry. And if you try, you can enjoy great sense of achievement. Those phrases got us really excited. And we decided to work on it unanimously. On the website, a thesis was introduced. That was Dr. Owen Chapman's The Total Synthesis of Carbon. Carbon is a kind of lignant, naturally derived phenol, consisting of two C6, C3 units. That is found in the bulk of carbon trees indigenous to Bougainville Island in the Western Pacific. As we said before, carbon has very complicated chemical structures, so it is no easy to synthesize it artificially. Then, how did he succeed? Actually, it came from his unique idea. His idea was as follows. Carbon has very complicated structures, but if you can cut the chemical bond at the dotted line, you can divide it into two simple structured compounds. So if you manage to combine these two compounds in some way, you will be able to synthesize carbon. In order to start our experiments, we needed a chemical compound called sesamol. However, sesamol itself was too expensive for us, so we had to synthesize sesamol from hyperonal by ourselves. Hyperonal is relatively inexpensive, and we managed to buy it. With a lot of effort, we made a plan of synthesizing carbon consisting of five schemes, and this is the five schemes. The parent material is piperonal. Scheme 1, Bayer-Biga oxidation. Scheme 2, Williamson ether synthesis. Scheme 3, Cryden rearrangement. Scheme 4, Orphan isomerization. Scheme 5, Coupling reaction and Dirzolda reaction. Let me tell you briefly about the experiment in the scheme. As scheme 1, we employed bioamide oxidation with pahomic acid. We obtained sesamol homemade. We poured this reaction mixture into ice water and the sesamol homemade in it turned into crystal. We, we then thermally find this and using a solvent evaporator, we got some residue from which genuine sesamol was obtained by extraction and recrystallization. Yield 42 percent. At scheme two, we added sesamo and then our bromine into sodium esoxide solution. From the solution, we obtained sesamo allyl ether by extraction. Yield 55 percent. At scheme three, just by heating sesamo allyl ether, poison rearrangement occurred, and two allyl sesamo was obtained by recrystallization. Yield 51%. At scheme 4, by all three isomerization of two alkyl with potassium tartrate butoxide, trans to propanium sesamol was synthesized. Yield 37%. Scheme 5 can be done with quite simple operations. First, we added the trans to propanium sesamol to methanol solution. Then we added copper to acetate to the solution and stirred it. We repeated purification three times. 
So yield was quite low, 0.62%. Skin pipes reaction mechanisms are as follows. When CO2 plus combined with phenolic hydroxyl group, two trans to propanethesimal couple, and uh, at the same time, cyclization reaction continuously occurred based on reduced over reaction. Then carbon is synthesized at the stroke. This is an amazing way of synthesizing the compound. Its molecular conformations completely agree with ones of natural carbonyl. At first four schemes, we measure melting points of substances we got so that we could identify what substances we got we obtained. At the very last scheme, we used an H1 NMO and measured the spectrum shape of the substances we got. It perfectly matched the spectrum shape of carbonyl that was synthesized by the pharmacy department of Nagasaki University, which made us convinced we certainly the total synthesis of carbonyl. We finally achieved our goal. However, a big problem still remained at scheme one. We had a lot of difficulty in obtaining sesamo crystal. This video was recorded in September 2011, and it shows us the way sesamo is being crystallized from the edge of the watch glass to the center. We succeeded in crystallizing sesamo. However, it took as many as 12 hours before the reaction ended, and yield was quite low, only 30%. Therefore, we decided to work on the improvement of the experiment operations of scheme one. We tried to improve the procedures of bio We carried out the experiments both at 20 degrees and 40 degrees. We expected at higher temperature, the reaction would proceed faster. The result was the reaction time became much shorter at 40 degrees as we expected. <coughs> However, we failed to make sesamo forming crystallized. The only thing we got was oily substance. From the reaction mechanism, we inferred that it could not be sesamo forming but piperonilic acid. According to the reaction mechanism, when part A is transferred to an oxygen atom, sesamo forming the target compound is obtained. On the other hand, when part B is transferred to piperonilic acid, a subsidiary compound is obtained. At high temperature, 20 degrees and 40 degrees, we could not obtain sesamo forming because part B seemed to be transferred. We synthesized piperonilic acid and compared it with the oily substance using TLC. And one of the subsidiary products proved to be piperonilic acid. We also found that the higher the reaction temperature is, the more piperonilic acid is produced. Therefore, we expected that at lower temperature, Part A is more likely to be transferred, and more sesamo forming could be obtained. So we let bioavailability oxidation occur in a minus 16 degrees Celsius freezer, and we analyzed the compound we obtained with TLC. We found that as we had in part at lower temperature, more sesamo forming was produced. We reviewed the experiment's operations and we managed to shorten the reaction time by half, from 12 hours to 6 hours, even 45%, increasing by 15%. We are making it for, for further improvement. Also, we have been working on the research on fluorescent material produced during, during biovegal oxidation. This is a photograph taken at the end of biomedical oxidation. The solution seems to grow yellow green. When we employ color chromatography, a yellow band appears. The, the fraction compound in a test tube will rest under 365 nanometer ultraviolet. The compound will rest particularly. 
The result of spectrophotometry shows and 450 nanometer, the absorbance was the, was the greatest. It, see, it shows the color of the substance is yellow. Using TAC, the solution proved to be sesamo. However, sesamo never progresses. It seems to be illogical. According to Professor Hideto Shirakawa, who researched sesamo as a progressive reason as pharmacy pro Department of Chowa University. A part of the sesamo is likely to be changed into the sesamo diamond. It could be another byproduct of biomedical oxidation. Dr. Alka said, sesamo diamond progresses during the experiment of the total system carbon. We set that to compound. If we continue researching both compounds, it could be to discovery of new fluorescence. Fluorescence reasons, because when we employ color chromatography, yellow band appeared and both of them fluoresced. Let me tell you what we learned from this project. At the end scheme, we made greater work to purify the target compounds. So every time, some beautiful crystal appeared in the solution breaker. All of us got excited. We learned how interesting organic compound synthesis was. We don't have any expensive device at our laboratory, but with a lot of effort and passion, we finally achieved the total system of carbon. Now we are proud ourselves. Finally, we'd like to thank all persons concerned for precious advice and suggestions. This is a list of research cited. Thank you for your attentive listening.
血症がやはり友情物になってしまうということがやはり一番難しく血症を得るということが一番難しかったということです。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。どうかご質問のある方いらっしゃいますでしょうか。質問の方はよろしいでしょうか。はい。ではお時間も終わりましたので以上とさせていただきます。福島県立岩木高等学校の皆さんでした。ありがとうございました。